Hi and welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing the charging port on a Dell laptop. This is the brand new charging port. It should look something like this, but my charging port is damaged. It's somewhat showing up all the metal and the circle is just kind of gone. All right, so I'll be replacing that because the computer is not taking the charge and it's not powering on. To identify the model, all you have to do is turn it to the back of the computer and you should be able to identify that is Inspiron 3593. All right, Dell Inspiron 3593 or P75F. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'll try to zoom in a little bit more. First of all, we need to have a Phillips screwdriver that is the regular pH one and remove the screws. There are three screws on the top and that three screws on the top are not coming off. One, two, and three, they somewhat stay at that position. So do not keep turning in, like keep turning that screw because they do not come off. All right, the one on the middle right, the one in the middle center, and the middle left, the three screws do come off. Bottom right, middle, center, bottom center, and bottom left. That three screws do come off. So total of them, six screws. Once you have removed them, what you want to do is to get in between the base and the back cover. So that would be in between this line. I'm using a metal prying tool to get in between that line to separate the back cover like such. Once I have the gap, I like to use the plastic prying tool so that it doesn't damage or make scratch to the plastic. Just kind of running across the back cover here. Just trying to make a separation between the plastic and the cover. And I should be able to, I miss one screw, no wonder. This another middle screw, a tiny one, a smaller one, right in the center. Sorry, apologize, I missed that screw. Okay, and you can just remove the back cover by lifting it up. Once you're done with that process, you're gonna focus on the top right corner where the hinge is going to be covering up that DC jack. Okay, so that is the DC jack, it's pretty damaged. Remove three screws. One, two, and the third screw. You can just push it back gently, lifting up the hinge. And now you can see that the DC jack is right there. There's a screw holding it down, unscrew. The connector, all you have to do is just slide it away from yourself. So slide it away from your body. Follow the cable and you just removed it. So this is the bad DC jack and that is the good DC jack. You can see that the plastic is gone and it's broke. So throw it away. Go underneath the Wi Fi cable, set in a position, have the screw holding the DC jack. Now you got to make sure you do not insert the opposite direction. I know it's kind of difficult to do that because the length of the cable doesn't allow you, but always pay attention to the side of the connector. There's a little dot 
I'm not sure if yours has a dot, but you can see that there's no metal exposed on the top here. And then on this side, you can see the gold plated is exposed on the top. So that gold plated has to be at the bottom of the connector. The dot would be facing up. And when you slide it in, it should just go back in very easily. And then you just have to hide the cable, making sure that they stay in, inside the laptop not outside the laptop way. When you close the plastic, you might pinch onto the cable. So stay inside the laptop. Once you're done, making sure that the hinge is closed without pinching down the cables and have the three screws back in, holding down the LCD screen hinge. All right, once you've done with that process, We can now install the back cover. I like to tuck it in, meaning that you can see the back cover has a little turn. I like to tuck it in, holding down the hinge first, like such. Okay, tuck it in, press it down on both sides. And then by finishing up, pressing down the rest of the, the corners. Remember the tiny screw that was here. Put it back in. And all the screws, I'll put them back together. If you're not sure where to find the DC jack, uh, check the link down description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find that replacement jack. And of course, you want to make sure that um, it is the right jack when you replace them. So check the description when you buy. Sometimes the seller might have changed the model or changed the DC jack. So you got to make sure that you're getting the right one. And hey, if you find this video is helpful, all I'm asking is smash up a like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to show appreciation, there's a YouTube super thanks. The super thanks allow you to do donation and support my work and my channel. And I just want to thank you in advance for showing the appreciation and donating through YouTube. Super thanks. All right, I have all the screw installed. So let's go ahead and test it out. I have the charger here. And I'll be plugging it into the new DC jack. And I should be getting a light or something. Or maybe there is a light, but it's too faint. I can't see. Anyway, um, that would be the process of changing out the DC jack. Oh, yep, there's a light. And now I can see it. I need to cover up the... Uh, uh, it's too bright, so I can't show it to you. But yep, that's how you re replace the DC jack. Hope this video is helpful. Again, smash the like button for me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, please take care and bye now.